Hi guys, I am back. This time with a video to teach you in a simple way how elemental reactions work. Now using elemental reactions in the game does largely affect the damage you give up. If you're a low level man struggling to hit a bit higher level guy, then elemental reactions are gonna help you bring down his numbers if done right. Trust me on this one, if you guys have watched my gameplay videos then you'll notice I live by this method because my farming abilities are low. So I utilize my elements as much as possible and I'm gonna teach you the different types of reactions and combinations we got. First, let's start off with what is elemental reactions. So elemental reactions is the name we used to call a triggered effect by applying a certain combination of elements to a target. Now elemental reactions seems to be a heavy mechanism in the game due to every character having one of the seven elements bestowed upon them in the form of visions. These elements are dendro which is new, pyro, cryo, hydro, geo, animal and electro. Now side notes, only the traveler can utilize all the elements but not at the same time. So in making a team which can only hold four characters, you should consider their elements and how combined they can drastically improve your team's overall damage. There are 11 elemental reactions with two subcategories but for now we'll speak about the 11 elemental reactions and they are vaporize, overload, melt, Burning, Blooming, Swirl, Frozen, Electrocharge, Superconduct, Quickening, and Crystallize. Now the two subcategories fall under Quickening and Bloom. Quickening has Aggravate and Spread and Bloom has Hyperbloom and Burgon. To get these reactions, we must mix two elements together, which you can see at the top of the heads of an enemy. So, what happens when we mix elements with pyro? Now, pyro with pyro gives no reaction because we're just simply burning a man with fire. But pyro with hydro, which is water, and same for hydro with pyro, obviously gives us the elemental reaction of vaporize. That means that man about to sizzle. Now when we use pyro first in an attack and then you switch to a hydro character and put down some water, then vaporize will deal a big two times damage multiplier. But if you put down hydro first and then pyro, you'll get only a 1.5 times damage multiplier. So in conclusion, clearly you want to use the strongest one, so aim for the two times damage by using pyro before for hydro when triggering this reaction. Now pyro with cryo. What happens? Well, this effect plays similar to the first one, but this reaction is called melt. When you use cryo and then pyro, you get two times more damage, but it takes longer for it to be applied again. But if you use pyro first, then cryo, you get 1.5 more damage and it's quicker to apply. Now we'll speak about pyro with electro. And the order of which is applied first doesn't matter this time, but we get an elemental reaction called overload when mixed. This causes a big explosion that deals two times more pyro damage and it tends to push back smaller enemies. Just keep in mind, if your character is a close ranger, then blowing back your enemies may be a bit tedious, unless your character prefers to attack from afar. But if you're dealing with a bigger guy or a boss, then they're more likely not to get blown back, but they're still taking major damage from the overload explosion. Pyro with Dendro gives us the elemental reaction of burning. Now to me, I see Dendro as grass. So this one obviously, easy to remember if you view it that way as well. But keep in mind, Dendro currently has a lot more reactions within, but we're gonna get to that soon. So burning occurs when a Pyro meets Dendro but in no specific order. So this keeps dealing pyro damage over time because obviously the man is burning. Pyro with animal, which is wind, causes the reaction swirl. Now swirl in general is mental, but since we're keeping sections here, if you use pyro first, 
than animal, that man will spread the pyro damage within a 6m radius. Pyro with Geo gives us a crystallized reaction which does nothing but gives us a small shield for a bit. Let's move on. Now with pyro reactions, it's simple to remember these because it's somewhat a general knowledge of science. We tend to know like if you want a fire to spread, fuel it with wind. You want water to turn to vapors, add fire. So if you recall no other elements reaction, you should have the ability to recall pyro's reactions. Now just a small list of pyro characters before we move on. Next element is geo. Now geo combined with pyro, electro, hydro, and cryo gives us the crystallized reaction, which may be the weakest reaction we have. Crystallize does no damage at all. It just gives us a small shield for a little bit if you pick it up. Now one thing you should pick up though is a subscription to my channel. Thank you. Also, geo with geo, geo with dendro, and geo with animal does nothing. Here's some geo characters because they tend to be my favorite. Even though crystallize is lame, the geo characters are not. Animal. Animal creates only the swirl reaction and if mixed with pyro, hydro, electro, or cryo, then apply whatever element you want and then apply animal after and swirl will spread that element's damage within a 6m radius. Animal with animal, animal with dendro, and animal with geo does nothing. Some animal characters are traveler, they're built in, jokes guys, jokes. But seriously though, you guys can try and use them. They don't need such a bad rap. Hydro. The reactions for hydro when paired with electro gives us electro charge. The order in which these elements are applied to get this reaction doesn't matter. Now this reaction is powerful if used right because first off, if both hydro and electro is present, then electro charge starts to zap the enemy over and over again with 1.2 multiplier damage instead of one big attack. But what's cool here is that while electro charge is active, it keeps the hydro and electro on an enemy. So if you throw a third element in there like pyro, then it will mix with either hydro or electro, farming one of its own elemental reactions. So that enemy will be electro charged and either overloaded or vaporized at the same time. Up next is hydro with cryo. This gives us the reaction frozen. Now this reaction is exactly as it sounds. It freezes our opponent. That's it. Now if your opponents are huge, and I mean huge, then they won't freeze, but they'll have the frozen state applied to them because if you pull out a claymore user or a geo user or any heavy hitting attacks, you get a shatter reaction which will deal 1.5 damage but from what I heard, not a lot of people mess with shatter like that. What happens when we use water with grass? Translation, hydro mixed with dendro. It has a reaction called bloom. Now bloom creates an object called dendro core on the field and it stays there for a few seconds until it blows up, dealing dendro damage. But here's where the true strengths of these dendro cores lie. When you add a third element to this equation, such as a pyro or electro, we get three times the dendro damage. If you add pyro to the dendro core, that's called virgin, and those cores still explode, but again, it gives you three times more damage, while electro to this dendro core is called hyperbloom, and that causes the core to fly into the opponent instead, but also deals three times dendro damage. Hydro with pyro. Now this gives us vaporize. Hydro with animal gives us swirl. And hydro with geo gives us crystallize. Hydro with hydro gives us nothing. Some hydro characters are...
Let's speak about cryo. Cryo with electro creates a reaction called superconduct. Now it does a little bit of damage, but its main thing is that it reduces an enemy's physical resistance by 40%. This means simply when I hit an enemy, after superconduct has been applied, then my normal attacks are going to be higher because he's taking more damage. As you know, cryo with pyro creates a reaction called melt. Cryo with hydro creates a reaction called frozen. Cryo with anemo is swirl. Cryo with geo gives you crystallize. And cryo with cryo and cryo with dendro gives us nothing. Some cryo characters are... Electro. Electro with dendro gives us the reaction quickening. Alone, this reaction does nothing until you've used dendro again. When quickening is applied, it creates spread that deals dendro damage by 1.25 times. Now, if you hit electro to an opponent with quickening applied, you'll get aggravate, which deals 1.15 times electro damage. Electro with pyro creates overload. Electro with hydro creates electro charge. Electro with cryo creates superconduct. Electro with animo creates swirl. Electro with geo creates crystallize. And electro with electro creates nothing. Now, some electro characters are. Lastly, we'll speak about Dendro. Dendro with Pyro creates burning. Dendro with Hydro creates bloom. And with some subcategories, Dendro with Electro creates quickening. Also with some subcategories, Dendro and Pyro together creates nothing. Along with Dendro and Dendro, Dendro and Anemo, and Dendro and Geo. Some Dendro characters are... Traveler. Jokes guys, jokes. But again, it's possible. So, you're probably wondering which elemental reaction can be classified as the best. Now, with everything else in this game, there's mixed reactions and different opinions. But based on my opinion, I can say from day one, Vaporize has been a huge hit. And I personally rely on that elemental reaction a lot. But other people would say, now that we have quickening with its subcategories of spread and aggravate, and that's also good along with melt. But at the end of the day, you're the player, how you build your character, triggering these elements is up to you. Because do keep in mind, the individual who is doing the most work in this elemental reaction is not the first character you put down to apply the first element. It's the second character, so that one should be built. But again, how you play the game with your weakness and strengths are up to you. So maybe for you, your best elemental reaction would be Bloom. But at least we all know one thing for sure, the elemental reaction crystallize isn't on this best list. But thank you guys for joining me. If this is still too complicated for you as a new player to understand and you're taking some damage rather than giving it, then check out my video and all the healers in Genshin Impact and pick a healer you'll need. Like and subscribe guys so I can keep making more videos. Bye!